All right, so uh, habit number two for taking more interesting photos is to simply take lots of photos. Um, in digital photography, it doesn't cost any uh, extra money to take uh, 20 photos, 200 photos, 2,000 photos. Uh, each of those costs the same amount of mon uh, money, which is nothing, zero. So there's no cost barrier to taking more photos like there used to be in the film days. Every photo you took cost money, both in the film and then getting the film developed. So take lots of photos. Uh, Malcolm Gladwell has a quote about practice, taking lots of photos in this case. And his quote is, practice isn't the thing you do once you're good. It's the thing you do that makes you good. So take lots of photos every day. Practice, practice, practice uh, by finding out what you like to take pictures of, what you don't like to take pictures of. Making awful photos helps you find out how to take better photos. Uh, I have many, many photos that will never see the light of day uh, or <laughs> the light of my screen even. So um, take lots of photos. It's a great way to practice and to do this habit of always carrying a camera, always be looking, always be seeing better photos as we talked about in habit number one. So that's one part of taking lots of photos. Another part of taking lots of photos is when you have a subject um, to work at it to find the photo that is the most interesting photo. Um, you can't usually just walk up to a subject, take one picture, walk away, and know you've got it. Uh, you usually have to move around, work, maybe come back another time when there's better light, uh, or when you've uh, maybe you've got different uh, set of circumstances that allow you to take a better photo. So uh, taking lots of photos is both a combination of, of uh, daily, hopefully, or regular practice of taking photos, as well as the second part of it is when you have a subject that you're taking pictures of, take lots of photos of that subject. Um, again, three, maybe five, 10, 20, 30, 40 photos because those extra clicks don't cost any money. Uh, by the way, what I don't mean is to just take your camera and go. That doesn't do anything except sound cool. Um, so what you wanna do is take a picture, move on, take another picture, look around for the photos, uh, kinda like you saw me doing in the, uh, the video with uh, the, the tree on the hill, looking for the right photo. So that's habit number two, taking lots of photos. I'll show you some examples here uh, of some photos I've recently taken uh, just this past weekend where I took a whole bunch of photos of, the, of one subject to get to the one that I like the most. All right, so here we are in uh, Lightroom taking a look at some photos I took uh, recently at the Bellevue Botanical Garden. Uh, I think I took about 200 photos over the course of, uh, of about an hour, hour and a half. And uh, as you can see, starting here at photo number 131, uh, I'm taking multiple photos of every subject. I'm looking to find the one that works the best. Um, you'll see each of these f subjects has at least two, maybe three. That B got a ton of photos. Played around with this grass a little bit. And then this bunny rabbit happened. So I took a whole bunch of photos of this rabbit. And I found this leaf to use as a frame to kind of highlight the rabbit a little better. Some of these photos have been edited, some have not, most have not. Because I was just looking for the best one. Here's these photos of grass, the bunny's tail. <laughs> So again, you can see just moving a little bit, trying to find the sharpest focus in this case when I'm really, really close. Not changing composition too much, but just making sure focus is good. A little composition change here. Looking for the best combination of things. So it's pretty easy to see you can take a lot of photos, try different things, look for the variety. Ooh, spider. I don't like spiders. Um, look for the variety where the winner is. Most of these are, are going to be detail photos. That's what I, I really like with flowers. It uh, helps hide 
uh, the background, which sometimes is not so attractive. Um, so take lots of photos. They're free. It's a great way to learn, to understand, and find out what you like, what you don't like. Things that, uh, subjects that are interesting to you, subjects maybe that aren't as interesting. So give it a try. Take lots of photos. It's a good habit. Take some photos every day. I try and do that every day. Don't always succeed, but I always have my camera with me. That's another uh, good lesson. Always have your camera with you. All right, that's taking lots of photos. Habit number two to learning and practicing taking more interesting photos.